Today, Roxanne and I are falling down the rabbit hole of the bite of 83, the horrific incident where Evan Afton was, uh, chomped. Leave a like on this video for more lore videos like this in the future. And subscribe to help us reach 350,000 subscribers. All right, Roxanne, here we are. Um, so this is gonna be a little graphic, but, uh, this is the bite of 83. Um, this is... Right, what happened to Evan? Yeah. Wait, wow, your brother is kind of a baby, isn't he? It's hilarious. Um, that's kind of sad. This is Michael and all of his friends, isn't it? It's kind of weird, honestly, how all of this happened. It kind of is like a big cult, almost, it feels like. I know that none of them were, like, actually meaning for this to happen, but it's still really scary. I mean, look at Evan. He's literally sitting here crying, and he's all upset, and they're just bullying him. Yeah. Why don't we help him get a closer look? He will love it. Oh. Something tells me he's not going to love it. Oh. No, please. Come on, guys. Let's give this little man a lift. He wants to get up close and personal. Oh, no. This is gonna be really hard to watch, I think. Oh. Oh, he's just they completely struggling. picked him up. He can't even do anything. No, I don't want to go. Oh, my gosh. You heard the little man. He wants to get even closer. <laughs> this is like when someone picks you up and throws you in a pool, even though, though you don't want to. Yeah, but like if the pool is made of acid and you couldn't swim. Yeah, true. So here's Fred Bear. Um, yeah. I think we all kind of know what's about to happen, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we all know the tale. Um, hey guys, I think the little man said he wants to give Fred Bear a big kiss. Oh, this is really bad. On three. On three. One. Oh. Two. Oh. Yeah. So. But at the end of the day, I mean, this is all just tales, right? Did, did Evan even confirm that this is really what happened? I don't know. Um, it could be kind of like Lizzie. I mean, Lizzie didn't know she was dead, but I think Evan does. It's just. Yeah. Maybe he doesn't actually fully know how everything went down. Yeah. Wait. Oh. What's this? Can you hear me? Are these plushies? I don't know if you can hear me. Maybe? I'm sorry. Wait, who's talking to him? Is it the Fredbear is plushie? It, it might be. You're broken. What is this? I don't know. Is this, this like... Is in the afterlife or in his head or something? Perhaps. Wait, why are they disappearing? We are still, we are your, still friends. your friends. Why did the foxy oh, yeah. one disappear? Wait, and the, the chica foxy one now. and the chica one? Um, Do you still believe that? No, Bonnie. And I'm, I'm still, still here. here. No, 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 no. Now it's just Golden Freddy left or Fredbear saying I will put you back together. Oh! No. And now he's gone. And, and now, now he's Evan just crying. crying. More. Oh my gosh, and now he's gone. Talk about a Debbie Downer. The Bite of 83, previously speculated to be the Bite of 87, refers to oh. a cutscene from the 2015 video game Five Nights at Freddy's, which four bullies shove a younger kid into the mouth of Fredbear, an animatronic which then shuts on him, crushing his head. Ugh, that is really... A lot. <laughs> oh, this is even worse. The scene has been a prominent subject of references in memes. Yeah. The that people joke about. Oh, I guess we've seen some before, but when you take into consideration what it actually means, it's just It's really dark. scary. After completing Night 5 and finishing the game in Five Nights at Freddy's 4, the player is shown a cutscene that takes place in 1983. In the cutscene, the main protagonist of the game, a child who's Evan, is getting bullied by his older brother Michael and three other older kids wearing animal masks. The bullies then carry the child to the scene where Fredbear and other animatronics are performing and shove the child's head inside Fredbear's mouth. Fredbear's mouth then shuts on the child's head, crushing it. 
So we know that Michael exists. Obviously, that's Evan and Lizzie's right. brother. Who are the other people? Because I, I feel as though just theorized we... to be like Michael's like school friends or something. I don't know if they're ever talked about really. We need vengeance, honestly, for them. Like they need to go to prison or something. I'm sure they were reprimanded, and if they weren't, then well, that's an issue in and of itself. The Bite of 83 was an important but terrifying event that took place, um, being one of the first events in the series chronologically. In order to get it, you had to complete Night 5, where Fred Bearer would attack Evan slash the crying child during dawn. Okay, who's the Bite? The Bite of 83 is where William Afton, the purple guy's son, gets his skull crushed by Fred Bearer's mouth. The Bite of 87 is where a security guard or day shift worker of some sort gets bitten by... Oh, Mangle! Wait, but... A lot of things say Toy Bonnie bit the security guard for the bite of 87. See, this is where FNAF gets confusing because there's so many different stories. There you are. can never know which one's real. Was it Mangle or was it Toy Bonnie? I guess they said, I believe Mangle, so yeah. maybe they're just wrong, but... Wait. Severity. How bad was the bite of 83? Well, it was deadly. I can yeah, tell you that much. I think much. it was probably pretty bad. The gang gets the victim closer to Fred Bear's stage and makes Fred Bear, quote unquote, give the child a kiss by shoving him into Fred Bear's mouth. Whether by accident or not, are you kidding me? The protagonist's head gets stuck in Fred Bear's gnawing mouth. The machine's mouth then crunches shut on the victim's head. Ugh, that's just terrible. <sighs> I am curious, how old was Michael during this? Wait, when we see Michael and his friends in 1983 bullying his younger brother, Based on his height and language, I'd say he's around 13. So basically almost your age, Gregory. Oh my Can you gosh. imagine bullying someone like that younger than you? Ugh, I really can't. So this is actually a Reddit post about the Bite of 83 in the FNAF Theories Reddit uh, chat. Um, I thought this was interesting because it's actually talking about the Springlock malfunction and kind of why Fred oh. Bear, you know chomped Interesting. down but it says yeah it's caused by a spring lock malfunction to preface the bite of 83 refers to when the crying child was shoved into fred bear's mouth by michael and after a bit of struggling the animatronic w was come clamping down on the child's head spring lock suits are basically animatronics that can malfunction as both animatronic and suits with hand cranks used to move the locks and springs meant to oh. hold the endoskeleton body in place to move around the insides of the suits so someone can fit in it these spring locks, however, are extremely sensitive to touch and moisture. So much so that even breathing on the locks can loosen them. If one were to be inside the suit during a malfunction, the locks would snap back to their original position and kill them. So kind of what I'm thinking, and I'm assuming it's probably going to get into, is um, we all know that Evan cried a lot. And if right. he got his head put in there while he was crying and moisture loosens the the bolts on the spring lock animatronics, then I'm assuming um, that might be what caused it. It's so crazy that they would build something so sensitive, though. Especially if it was made to hold a person inside of it. Really, though? It even says right here as an example, this is what killed William Afton, the purple guy, in FNAF 3. That's Evan and Lizzie's dad. He put on the spring bonnie suit and the water dripping from the ceiling loosened the springs. Yeah, see, right here. Many people believe that the moist tears of the crying child had caused the spring locks in Fred Bear's head to loosen, malfunction, and come loose around his head. But that had to happen in a matter of seconds. I mean, it's not like they were holding Evan in there for minutes. I mean, they put his head in, a tear must have dropped, and then boom. Yeah. Chomp. It's just terrible. When animatronics are not well alive quote unquote i mean they're programmed to open and close their mouth blink their eyes and look like they're giving a performance so i was just thinking that i mean he had his mouth open because he was singing closed it and that's when evan's head was inside yeah i guess at the end of the day there's really multiple theories and multiple real life situations that could have caused mm -hmm. this um i guess i can Someone... maybe talk to evan more about it but you guys should also let us know in the comments if you guys know any more info about this definitely it's so crazy i mean uh, even just a theory i'm coming up with now if the spring lot suits were meant to house somebody inside what if someone was in fredbear controlling him and 
they were the ones who closed his head. I just, Wait, you think someone so, did it on purpose? Well, I don't think someone did it on purpose. I'm just saying it's an option. If the suits are literally built to have people inside. I guess that's true. I didn't really think about it like that. So, this is actually part of the new game, The Glitched Attraction. And at the end of it, um, it actually oh, shows all the boys. this exact scene happening, um, which is interesting to see because it's more of a 3D view. Right. Um, and actually it seeing is... how it all went down. It is weird looking at it in a 3D sort of sense because we've only ever seen it done pixely. Yeah. So... I guess we're just gonna keep going through the doors and it's gonna go through the different right. parts. Oh, Stages. now they're holding him. They're picking him up, yeah. It's definitely Evan. And see, look! Red Bear's mouth was closed there. Yeah, true. And I bet now it's going to be open again? Uh, yep. Certainly is. They just left him hanging there. Yeah. This is... And they're just laughing. Terrible. See, this all makes me feel like it wasn't an accident. I mean, they just let him sit there with his head in his mouth. Oh, I really feel like they knew what they were doing. And then look here. Oh, and Michael is like standing over his body, almost yeah. apologetically. Also, do you see the blood dripping down Red Bear's I certainly do. mouth? Mm -hmm. Ugh, so scary. Hard to miss. Yeah. It even looks like his jaw is kind of messed up, like his teeth are all jacked up I would now. imagine so. I mean, a human skull is quite tough. Oh, it's darker now. Wait. Oh, it's just the plush. Interesting. What's Indeed. going on? I don't know. Oh. Oh. Um. Well. GG. 